let's see the question number nine in this question the shows that the graph of x coordinate of the particle along the l x axis as a function of time find the average velocity during 0 to 10 second and the instantaneous velocity at 2 5 and 8 and 12 second so well we have to find the average velocity for guys for finding the average velocity that is very easy to find what we have to do we have to find the displacement upon the total time so we have the time with us which is time is 10 second so we'll have to find the displacement so guys as you know that this the distance let's say so distance versus time graph only so let's say at time is equal to 10 second here is the time 10 second at time is equal to 10 second what is the displacement let's see that's a very easy concept very easy question at time is equal to 10 second the distance is 100 because it's a distance versus time graph so we'll consider here uh, the distance as a 100 meter 100 meter okay got it the time we have the 10 second right so average velocity is very easy that's the 100 upon the 10 will give you the 10 okay i hope that's clear to you right so we'll have the first answer with us now the four second part instantaneous at two so guys you see if you're talking about this 0 to 2.5 the slope will remain same the slope is the same and if you're talking about the 2 so 2 will be here, here, somewhere here right so guys if you're talking about the instantaneous velocity so whenever it is the distance versus time graph so slope or inclination slope must say the tan theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse y by x height upon the base uh, that is nothing but the velocity right rate of change of displacement or rate of change of distance will give you the velocity right rate of change of displacement will give the velocity so we'll have to find the slope even though you will know that the slope inclination will be s s same all over the point all over the point so what i will do i'll just find the slope at uh, this 2.5 and uh, 0 so that uh, the at uh, the velocity or slope at 2 will be remain same right got it what i'm doing because i don't know the value at 2 so what i will do i'll just do find the value at 2 5 right because at 2.5 the value of 2.5 and 2 the slope will remain same because it's a straight line right inclination is same everywhere the inclination will be same inclination will be same everywhere okay so let's find the first of all the slope so for slope uh, from let's say i write it by a to b so 0 to 2.5 second so basically at this position the height is 50 right 50 and uh, what about the base base is 0 to 2.5 so basically it's 2.5 final minus initial so it will give me 20 meter per second so guys at instantaneous velocity at 2 is 20 meter per second got it let's talk about the 5 second so 5 second is a straight line a straight line it's a constant so well uh, if we're talking about the velocity means rate of change of displacement so it will be like if i'm going to find the slope so the, it will remain same like 50 minus 50 upon the time must change right time will be changed but it's a straight line so the velocity at here instantaneous velocity will be zero because it's a straight line got it because they know any change is there but now let's find the eight so eight will be somewhere uh, between the 7.5 and 10 so using the same concept the straight line i'll just find at 10 because i know the value at 10 10 is having the displacement or distance as uh, like 100 right and uh, at 7.5 it's a 50 so basically we use the same concept i'll use the same concept here and i'll use the uh, like this my velocity change in velocity is uh, my velocity is change in displacement upon time and displacement at 7.5 to 10 is having 100 minus 50 right 100 minus 50 upon the time and the time is 2.5 so we'll have this 50 upon 2.5 right so will give me the 20 again 20 meter per second this is my answer right let's talk about the 12 so basically if we're talking about the 12 well here is the 12 and let's say this is the 12.5 this part is 12.5 and 12 is somewhere here and the velocity is decreasing right at 12 second the velocity is negative as it's moved towards the initial position but the slope if you're finding the slope here the same right because this is the 10 to 12.5 it means the time is 2.5 and what about the height height this is the height this is the height right so again it's a 50 so 50 divided by 2.5 will give you the 20 i hope this is clear to you guys should i explain you once again wait i'll just explain once again look see what happened is it clear to you once again i'm repeating the graph is the straight line so i just find it here 
then here is the straight line that is the reason velocity will be zero here velocity is zero the, the decreasing part the velocity is negative okay and here is the increasing part the velocity is increasing so what i did even though i don't know the, uh, we have to find that two so if i don't know the value at two so what i did i just find it at 2.5 because you know at 2.5 the value is 5 50 right so with the help of this you can find this concept and you to find it the value okay i hope this is clear to you i hope this is helpful for you guys if you find it helpful please like this video and please help me out to subscribe the channel or share it if possible for you otherwise thank you for watching the video keep me supported i'll try to make some such type of video best of luck for your future thank you